Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 1044. He was a Zoan all this time. So previously we got him there to there was a devil fruit who hasn't been rolling with its true name. And speculation was like on like what which devil fruit was this gonna be. Some people safely assumed you know it was gonna come gone through you know main character why not be his fruit but people were on the fence people consider different other devil fruits i personally was rolling with it just waiting to see what was going to be revealed to us so within this chapter today we get confirmation that the devil fruit that was going by an alias was in fact the gum gum fruit and not only was it going by alias by our um, name it was going by alias of type as well because it's not a parasine type I mean, that's how you pronounce the word you know what type i'm talking about anyway you know what type i'm talking about it's not that type it is essentially a zoan not only is it a zoan it's a mythical mythical zoan on top of that on top of that and now the way the guru say are talking about this that de- um this devil fruit about how the whole thing of how the world government hasn't never in any era over 800 years been able to get this hand on this devil fruit it's making me it's making the devil fruit seem very rooted in destiny and for some series sometimes you know being rooted in destiny is a good thing and sometimes it's not it's not but i think for me personally as long as the gum gum fruit the nika nika fruit whatever which way you want to call it now it's up to you anyway as long as that devil fruit was never gold roger goldie roger never had the devil fruit any time in his life i think i'm cool with the history of that fruit when, when whichever way was wants to go i think i am i think i am because there's still some things i feel that needs to be cleared up a bit and i'll see how i feel about it then but the way the guru say talk about this free how this is very rooted in the destiny but another thing they say as well just makes me wonder what exactly are the limitations of luffy now because because of the way they describe it, this is possessing a body with the properties of rubber. Okay, fair enough. That's how we've known Luffy to be from Jump Street, from Chapter One, from Episode One. That's how we know Luffy to be. But it goes on to say, and fighting in whichever, in whatever way he fancies, bring a smiles and bring smiles to the faces. Of the people, the warrior of liberation, also known as Nika the Sun, Sun God. So, what now can he do that he couldn't do? It's just, I feel like the way the devil fruit has been described automatically gives him the potential to be the strongest fighter within the series because it mentions the whole fighting in whichever way you way you fancy and then when i initially thought of that I automatically think okay cool what are we now going to see luffy start whipping out key blasts or just other fighting styles that just differentiate differentiate no, that differ <laughs> from gum gum from stretching from what we've seen of luffy previously and i don't know how i feel about that and when you go into the name nika the sun god so therefore is luffy going to now stop having fire powers i don't know like i said i don't know how i feel about that i know we've seen luffy use fire powers before you know the red rock and um the red hawk so luffy using fire powers is not something new but I feel like to drastically change Luffy's fighting style this late in the game, like I said, I don't know how I feel about it. However, I probably am willing to take it on board as long as it's only in Gear 5. Joy Boy mode. <laughs> Maybe. Um, then I'm starting to... um. That's, that's the thing. I, um, I don't know. I don't know yet. But I feel like 
if he is going to start having very different differentiated abilities in his fighting just limit it to um to get five so after the reveal of that we get um in all honesty because of the hype of leaving off last chapter and the break before it when we got the heroic stuff it was kind of a like okay just hurry up kind of moment basically she's trying to get revenge for her dad fair enough and we'll just see her working towards that but after that said and done we skip back to what we want and we get that introduction gear five i'm not gonna lie I feel like there was no hype for me. I feel like, okay, yeah, it was, it was like it was like I was expecting it, cause I remember when Gear Two, Gear Three, they was first introduced. I was excited. I was excited. I remember sp- specifically when Gear Four was introduced. The, cha- the chapter where Gear Four was introduced, he, he says Gear Four, then you see Gear Four the next chapter. But I remember the chapter. You know, he says Gear 4. I was like, oh my... I was excited. I was like, oh my gosh, no, it's too soon for a Gear 4. Because I was expecting a, more Gears after the time to put um, the time scale. But I was like, oh my gosh, no, it's too early for a Gear 4. That's my... I don't remember those were my exact words. But with Gear 5, I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what's it going to look like? And speaking of what it looks like, um, I get, I get it. I get it. Zanisha is there saying Joy Boy has returned. That's the thing I don't get actually. Is Nika the sun god Joy Boy? Or is just. So the devil fruit is based off Nika the sun god, and then the people who've had the gum gum fruit been going by the A list Joy Boy. This, this chapter does answer some questions, but it does bring up some more questions as well. It does bring up some more questions as well. But we'll talk about the look. The look. I don't mind it. It looks goofy. It looks fun. It's not... It doesn't essentially look stronger in this form, um, which I'm, I'm okay with, I guess. Because usually when people transform, you know, to power up, they look stronger. But with this, he just almost kind of reverting back to base which i kind of like um yeah which i kind of like and he does look a bit goofy he was acting goofy as well which again i kind of like and it goes with the theme of being joy boy so there's that um it's definitely i feel like it's definitely an awakening because he does say this is the pinnacle of his um yeah this is the pinnacle so this is probably the last gear that we'll see but it must definitely be awakening because we see him stretch the very ground itself uh and yeah he's acting goofy he does um the whole eye thing popping out his circuits oh my gosh kind of thing and we don't get to see much of it in this chapter obviously the fight is going to continue and we see what it can really do soon hopefully but for now i'm not disappointed of it um happy with the design mm, yeah i think that's everything i got to say about this chapter so i'm going to give it a three star rating like always guys i must go for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please go to my youtube channel most importantly take care have a nice day